blind fired there. Quite literally. This area was okay in the remake, but I wish that the full laboratory was just a bit more eventful, I guess. They didn't really add, like... Nothing really happens, I guess. <laughs> like, the whole running through the shaft bit and stuff, they could have added something that's a bit more dramatic, I think, but... I don't know. They didn't, they didn't really go be above and beyond on that game, unfortunately. Like, the gameplay was really cool, and... The police station section was really good, overall. But... Just, you know, didn't have that depth to it, I guess, because the B games kind of sucked. And Honestly, I remember when the first game first came out, there was that review that was like, oh, the B games are basically the A games. And everyone was like, but oh, the, obviously the reviewer didn't even play the game and he's lying. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, after playing them myself, I was like, yeah, that's true, actually. The B games are pretty much the A games. In... Um... And yet, you know, I think people were just, uh, you know, drunk on the hype, I guess, at that point. Because the B games had no unique story elements at all, to the point where the story doesn't even make sense when you, because <laughs> you kill the tyrant, uh, you kill Mr. X. Fat it gets fatal twice, and then in the story it makes no sense. All they needed to do is, at the very least, modify the like one cutscene or something, but... Uh, yeah, it's a shame, I guess. I was hoping they'd kind of, like, finish the game <laughs> uh, in updates, but then they, rather than do those ghost stories, I would have rather had, like, um, you know, I'd rather they just like finished <laughs> adding the extra missing content and stuff, but they all did like a director's cut release or something, but man, it's too bad because games like, there's so many games that get released and you just like, fuck, it's so close, it's so close to being incredible. It just needs a little push, and then, then you know, but they never do that because they've moved on to the next project or whatever. And it's such a shame because so much work, so much great work goes into making a game. And when it's just not there, it's like that. It's sort of ruined forever, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's it, you know, it's just, I don't know. Like, could, could the developers not just, can we not petition, <laughs> you know, like, working on Resident Evil 2 Remake for like six more months, come on, you know, just <laughs> just push it a bit more. <laughs> I like this zombie, it's just the... Damn, these textures look pretty good though. Like, their heads are kind of cool looking. I like the shabby uh, lab coats as well. This looks so good upscaled, it's like pretty... Ah, pretty good job. Definitely the best version of the game. Unless you want to play hard mode, then it's not the best version of the game. Uh, where do I get the lab card? What does that mean? I can do the thing upstairs. It'd be cool if modders, maybe. We're able to take Resi 2 remake to the next level. <laughs> William, I'll never forgive you for that. Wait. I've just prepared a sample of the G virus, and this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble. William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling. Can I just point out? Bio has a texture in the background. Sherry won't. Won't. What? It's stretched across the <laughs> thing. William, you're alive.
Oof. There he goes. Monstrous. W William is still alive. He's getting strong. Pretty sure Claire's dead. Next to that G virus. <laughs> Sherry! Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. They must have uh, hand done some of these texture stuff. Because the blood on her face there looks so good. Instructions for synthesis of the G virus antigen. G vaccine, codenamed Devil. <laughs> the vaccine is the devil. Any beings infected by G virus will reproduce through the impregnation of an embryo within another. Is that how you say that? Impregnation of an embryo? You don't impregnate the embryo, though, do you? With another living being. Unless rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host cells on a molecular level as it rewires, rewrites their DNA. Once the metamorphosis is complete, the host will be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The duration of time for the process to run its course will vary from subject to subject. In the early stages of the cellular of cellular invasion, it is possible to halt progression of the metamorphosis through the administration of the G vaccine antigen. The following procedure details its synthesis. The vaccine creation requires the base vaccine. <laughs> this can be arranged by the activator VAM. First set the empty cartridge to the VAM and activate it. After several moments proceeds blah 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 I can't really read all that. Basically, Save my daughter. I need to get some items and, and do some her, shit to I'm make an sorry antigen. I wasn't a better mother. Tell I'm her. sorry too, Annette. Sure. <gasps> I like how Annette's not that likable in this game. <laughs> I think the I think the remas remake the um the characters are a lot more Hollywood, I guess. It sort of made her a bit more caring, whereas I like how cold she is. Like, she said sorry here, but it's like, it's a bit hollow because she's dying and stuff. She's a bit, she's, she's way more like crazily into the whole virus thing, you know. It's kind of, kind of cool. Although one thing I think Resi 3 re Remake did, I haven't actually played that myself. Gotta admit, didn't bother. But I do like the whole Jill having a nightmare about turning into a zombie, because you'd think they would be terrified of that. That'd be horrific, you know, not know whether you're infected and stuff. But never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must dun, 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 What are you going to do? Where are you going? Claire, wait! <laughs> Claire, wait. <laughs> exactly take care of. I'm counting on you. <laughs> wait, I think on his B story, does he say something like that? Like, Claire... She's not even listening. It's just ignored the whole time. See, there's character moments like that that I just fucking... I know I keep ragging on the on the remake and stuff, but like, so many little moments that were so fucking good. Like when he's like, geez, why does no one listen to me? Like, it's just a cool, self-reflective character moment that you don't see much in video games. Certainly in 98 or whatever this came out. And, um... Those moments are all like, missing. I think that's really fucking sad. Plus, Ada dying in the power room is way cooler than her falling <laughs> down the shaft. I know that's canon, but like the other one is so much cooler. Ada with the electricity going off. It's a fucking awesome moment <laughs> in video games. Oh fuck, it's a whoa there. I think he was going to grab me. Hands off, plant boy. I'm saving myself for another. Um, pretty sure this is the right thing to do. 
what I am doing. Oh yeah! Where do I set that up though? Oh, I haven't set it up. Hmm. I forget where that is now. Oh, you set it in the moth room. I thought I needed to do something first, but you can just go in, can't you? Well, I still have a chance. Oh yes, yeah, a vaccine cart. Oh, I think you can blow the heads off if you do that. Well, you can, to be fair, you can just blow them in half anyway. Hey, boys. Lads. Damn it. They can take the legs off, but... Alright. There's some, like, super rare, like, limb stuff in this game that doesn't even exist in Resi 3, I don't think. Like the, you know... Um, the original. Oh, fuck. Like, sometimes they just grab you and then you, like, pull them away and your their arm is stuck on you, holding on. It's, like, so really cool, but... Um, didn't really get carried on in the series. Which is always a shame stuff like that gets left behind, you know. I suppose in Code Veronica they probably like rebuilt the engine, so... Plus... <laughs> Plus everything moves pretty stiff in... Uh, in Code Veronica. The animation's pretty odd. This game just makes me so happy. It's just, <laughs> it's such a beautiful. Wait a minute! You died. I know I don't need to kill you, but uh, I've got loads of grenades, so who cares? Oh, these zombies can do the cool, like, flipping over thing, though, where they face the direction changes, like this, see if he does it. <laughs> they go, the inverts, and they face the other direction. I always thought that's really cool. Even though these zombies aren't... Well, zombies are not zombies, are they? But they don't really play much of a pie in the game. But, uh... <laughs> Which I think is why they were better in the in the remake, actually. They're just they were way more interesting to fight, I guess, because you had. I can't remember what you had to do now. If the, do you have to burn them. I can't remember what. We have to keep damaging them. They're like regenerators. I can't remember now. But uh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do I use the ammo disc here? Verification disk confirmed. And the zombies vanish. And they're back. <laughs> I'll just kill them, I guess, because... I got, I got money to burn. We're like, this is the A game, dude. You don't need to save up for the, for the final um, butthole <laughs> of death. That William Birkin becomes. Um, yeah, I guess I'll use the fire. Actually, you don't need to kill the moth, do you? I don't remember now. Oh, but you need to kill the little maggots that are on the keyboard. I think that's just it. Du -du -du.
Oh, 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 oh. Will you push the switch? Uh, no. I'm just gonna stop here for the rest of the game. Dude, the HD work is great. I love it. I'm probably going to play Resi 3 as well, because that is in HD. Um, but I'm going to play Leon B first. Resi 3 is... Interesting difficulty curve, I think, because I, I think with that game, the first Nemesis... Oh, I thought it was... I, I don't know, I thought the room layout was different. Also, those HD maggots! Look at them! Please fuck off! Oh, come on, dude. Alright, I'll just... Do you want me to kill you? Is that what you want? Seriously? No! What the fuck? I like how this is just like a random enemy though. There you go. It's like the the one time enemy in the whole series. Well, it's probably in an outbreak or something, I don't remember. Rarely. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to waste. I know this isn't even worth it, by the way. Like, Oh my god, the HD. Wait, that's a hand thing. I, hand print thing. I guess it would be. I never even thought about it. Enter username. Guest. I think you just get a flamethrower, and it's not great. But it's a cool little thing. Is it, oh yeah, because this involves both characters, which is, again, something that I wish that they designed a game around, you know? Make a new Resident Evil, two characters. Because that's like, fucking classic uh, thing that fell by the wayside, isn't it really? Having two selectable characters. First two games did it, and it just kind of went away, but... Two characters, interweaving storylines, affecting one another. Well, Resi Zero did it, but I hate, honestly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's not the way to do it, I don't think. It's a bit too, I don't know, finicky. Um, takes away the focus from some of the things, I guess. Right, I need to prepare now. Oh, wait, I didn't. Oh, I need to go back up and do the fingerprint, though. Can I even be bothered? Um, I haven't even used the spark shot. Okay, we're gonna. That's so many grenades. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go all the way back up. And then we're gonna... Let's do it. Let's get the flamethrower. Let's just be badass and do it. This isn't a speedrun, so obviously. <laughs> so we might as well just uh, take our time. And... Uh... Soak in the atmosphere, soak in the the juices, the Resident Evil gravy. And uh, grab the flamethrower. Dude, it looks good in HD! Oh. So fucking good. Although that ladder does not particularly look high definition to me. But yeah. 
but yeah. Uh, where am I? No, it's here, it's here, it's here. No, it's not. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Wait, I do. Uh. Oh, yeah, no, I don't go this way. This is the B game, right? Where you go through the lift? Err. Uh, yeah. That's too bad. Well, there is a lift anyway, but it's a different lift, I think. <clears throat> Good. No, I need Leon. I like how Claire would do this. Like, it, again, this is something you could have done so fucking good in the remake or in a future game. Do it in a future game, <laughs> right? Where they're in communication or something, you know? So it makes sense. It's like, oh, Leon, there's this fingerprint thing. I've left you. I've left you the fingerprint. This is my gift to you, Leon, the flamethrower. <laughs> and he's like, oh, cheers. Takes it two item slots. I'm already carrying enough. Um, you know, but that could be such a like a, a good thing, good moment, good things. You know, character intertwining of stories and stuff that could happen. That could be so damn good. I'd love to see it. I'd pay big bucks for a game like that. And I'm not. I'm not like. Um, the thing is, I don't. I don't feel like, and I've said this before. I don't feel like developers either know or want, like, want to make what makes survival horror games great. You know, because it's not. It's not the tank controls and the fixed camera angles and stuff. It's the adventure game, puzzle solving. It's the forward thinking. It's the sort of tactics of well control I guess how you control your character and avoid enemies and that kind of thing um, and that those games just don't exist in this in this way at all and uh, what the hell am I doing I'm gonna use the spark shot like a complete fool I'll, I'll use it, I'll fire it like once and then you'll see why I won't ever use it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but uh, that's, that, that's what I want to see in games, you know. Forward thinking, a world that you explore and unlock and unravel. Um, is this even enough ammo? Like, I guess I'll take this, but it's not great. Um, you know, like just look at the mansion, this sort of circular design. So you can go back and, you know, you can kind of go in circles, unlocking sort of like ever increasing spirals, and pathways, and. Actually, notice that Twitch uh, attaches Metroidvania as a. like a. Yeah, the spark shot, baby. Oh, HD spark shot? Are you having a laugh? Is that, the, is that the print screen? Is this the shot that I need? Well, you can't aim up and down with the spark shot, that's funny. Okay, well. That might be my thumbnail for this section, but uh. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely extra lighting in the GameCube version. Because Claire is not affected by lighting like this in, in uh, PlayStation version. That's exciting. A huge lift standing before you. Alright, let's use the spark shot. Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah, fuck. Already dead. Spark shot letting me down. I'm pretty sure they did add this weapon, didn't they? I can't, fuck, I can't remember now. They had something like this in the, in the remake. Hey! 
Not bad. Well, actually, no, that is pretty bad, isn't it? Isn't it, <laughs> isn't it like it's a handful of grenade things? I guess it's the ray of fire that's really bad. I don't know. Come on, you walking asshole. Come on. Oh, I thought he'd done that thing where he like runs. Uh... Jumps behind you and then like fucking. <laughs> How many. Can I kill it with just the spark shot? Is that. Oh no! It's fine. I'm fine. Oh, that's the shot. Oof. Okay then. <laughs> I didn't think I was that low. Well, luckily we saved. <laughs> Claire's story. The ending of Claire's story is that she dies. To the uh, butthole dog. Good luck. I, I really want to kill her with the spark shot, just I don't know why, but. Um, all employees proceed to the bottom platform. I would like to have the buckle of it good. Um, yeah, it actually lasts a lot longer than I thought, though. I thought the spark shot um, ran out of ammo quicker than that, but might just be enough to like kill it. I think the re I think the Resi 2 remake made the uh, over the shoulder aspect way more playable because I didn't really honestly enjoy it. And <laughs> okay, let me backtrack. I did really enjoy Resi 4 when it first came out. Played it a lot, but then it hasn't stood the test of time for me. I get kind of bored after. I get bored at exactly the same point when you get to the um, the island. I always just tire out there. And I don't think I think the I think the controls I mean there's still tank controls, but it doesn't work. It's not necessary because you're not in a fixed camera. So you don't actually need controls that are sort of relative to the. Um, uh, oh shit! I was pressing the wrong button. Um, that are sort of relative to the player. You need you know so the controls in the remake made it a lot more fun. I think. The whole over the shoulder aspect. They just controlled a lot smoother. But I think tank controls work way better in these games because the camera angles change, so you want the controls relative to the player, not the camera. Oh, well, alright then. Oh, don't be doing that, I knew you were gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna use a health thing. <laughs> She's still in caution. But... Wait, what was that? I think he's getting darker, which means he's been injured, right? Wait, what? There's a one shot in caution like that? Oh man. Man, I would have just healed. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I quit using the uh, spark shot? I just want to kill it with a spark shot, man. <laughs> just <laughs> let me do this. Let me do this. Should be an achievement. Not that there are achievements, <laughs> but uh, this—I mean, this this remaster should honestly just be 
polished up and then released officially. Like it would actually be so fucking cool. Get Resi 2 Classic on Steam. Work with the uh, modders. <clears throat> Get it done. Although, you know, Capcom might have the original assets, I don't know. Probably not, but... If they did, then... It wouldn't be the right thing, I guess, to release this officially, but then they also probably wouldn't be asked to <laughs> to, to re-render or, you know, deal with finding the sources, source material, I guess. But Although they must have already looked at that if they have it for the remake. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. <laughs> it's not quite fast enough to, like, stun lock him. Which is probably intentional, maybe. Um, that being said, it's not a... Wait, where do I find this spark shot again? Oh yeah, no, you can just pick it up, can't you? I was going to say it's not uh, like a free weapon, but it actually is. <laughs> I love how she just takes it. Oh. Come on! Whoa, he just he jumps on the wall. I think he can land on you and that like, isn't the best thing in the world. Come on! Come on! <laughs> yes! No, I thought that was the... It was, yes! It was the loading screen of the fucking... Um, that would have been the perfect shot if I killed him right there. But it was the uh, loading screen of the next... Uh, background or whatever. Oh, camera angle. You've been electrified. That was electrifying, that fight. I was ecstatic for that. Ooh. Hey, I get to pop these guys. I'm pretty sure the heads blow up or something. Oh. Oh, it's the B game where you see the caught <laughs> the de uh, whatever the zombies the Oh no. M1. All aboard the M1. It's like a train conductor that's like, uh, Missy, do you have a ticket? <laughs> I don't. Have I noticed that before? She just slides off the fucking thing. That's amazing. <laughs> If I give it to her, what? Claire, what's happened? Not now. I have the. On, she's, <laughs> she's still telling Leon to go fuck himself for talking. I love it. Leon, stop bothering me, Leon. Jesus Christ. Where am I? It worked. Oh, Sherry, you're gonna be okay. Thanks, Claire. Clear. It's over. No. Find my brother. I have to go to an island and become an action hero. In the opening cutscene. My god has protected you. It will always be. Uh, uh, wh why is she looking at it? She can't fucking see it. Mmm, that's rub cheeks. Ooh, low resolution. Wait a minute. 
I'm pretty damn sure these were sprites in the original. Not a video. Maybe that's Resi 3 though, because I'm pretty sure it has a back background picture then. You can tell that they're sprites. But maybe this is just the GameCube thing. Good background design, you guys. Looks good. Especially in HD. Which is courtesy of some modders out there. Uh, cockpit? Who? What's that? The cockpit? What would that be referring to, eh? A? CG movie crew. I was going to say it's actually a pretty relatively small team, which I think it still is, but the CGI has a lot of people. Which, you know, there isn't actually that much, <laughs> that many cutscenes in this game, but. Uh, well, not CGI cutscenes, but. Still. Take some effort back in the day, especially. Paul Haddad, Alison Court. Love it. Do, 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 do. It's like a Pokemon theme. Alright, it's enough of that. Wait. I actually can't skip. <laughs> okay, it's not enough of that, because it's unskippable. Fair enough, I suppose. You did put a lot of work in all of you guys. Way back in 1996, 7, 8? 6, 7, 8? When they made it, I guess. And then remade it. <laughs> made it once, and then remade it again. Oh man, I wanted the remake to include some uh, uh, beta stuff, you know, because that would have been so good to visit some of that content that people have been hankering after for 20 odd years, but no, no, oh no. Da, da, da. Resident Evil. I love the font, it's just like impact or something. <laughs> it's really cool in a B-movie way. Biohazard 2. We wouldn't have got a great score because I saved like a bunch of times and took a long time. Because uh, I don't know if it counts when you're reading documents. I got a B, that's actually not very good. Wow. Did I use a first aid spray in the end? Maybe I did because I'm pretty sure that counts against you. Time counts against you. And uh, saving counts against you, so damn. Well, fuck you then. I was doing a stream, okay. There we are. Claire A. Um. What? Oh, <gasps> And we're back. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened. I think Steam went full HD or something. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I hadn't saved. It, the game just like fucking froze and then Steam came on and everything went crazy. Okay, but we're okay. We can save. Right. I'll overwrite it. Leon B. Because that means we can start Leon as his story would take place from the other perspective uh, so thank you for watching this has been Resident Evil 2 Claire A in high definition um, I would definitely definitely advise checking out this mod it, it is a mod for the GameCube version which means that you need to download or rather um, <laughs> acquire through legal means such as on eBay buy the game and then somehow rip the tiny discs. I don't know if you can do that in a normal drive, but you need to get, have Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube and some manner. Uh, the, the, the mod download does come with the emulator and stuff. Um, so that's good. Uh, 
let me just find I want to advertise this mod because it's really good so let me just uh, Resident Evil 2 I'll put a I might put a link on the screen or something because it's very good oh it's called reshdp.com reshdp.com and you can download Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 in high definition and I think they're working on Resident Evil 1 it's a great mod it comes with the emulator pretty much set up and uh, you just need the discs and the ISOs or whatever so yeah thank you for watching and I will play Leon B at some point and then probably Resident Evil 3 at some point after that so thank you and good night mm -hmm.